Hello, welcome back to Dining with Mr. Darcy. I'm your host, Darcy. Jonathan uh, Darcy Mida, Watashua Darcy Gasne, Wojal Darcy, Mirnan Darcy Ha. Today I have with me the six flavors of Halasan Soju. Halasan Soju is a special, a special soju that hails from Jeju Island, uh, made with uh, volcanic water. So I'm looking forward to giving these six flavors a try. Uh, currently, they recently released a sugar-free flavor, but I'm going to do a sugar-free uh, soju tasting as well as trying out uh, Kinro's Ilbun soju, which is their number one, and also their other sojus that they have. And also going to cover the Good Day Peach and Good Day Hibiscus flavor when I can find it or it becomes available to me in stores. Uh, I'd like to thank the liquor store down in Marine Drive for helping me collect all these different flavors and also the liquor store down at Central City Mall because uh, it was a little bit tough to find all these flavors um, but anyhow uh, they range in price from $8 to $10. Uh, my, the flavor that I'm really looking forward to having is the pineapple flavor and also the mandarin flavor because the mandarin flavor is uh, pretty popular in, in South Korea. If you go to Jeju Island and you can try their uh, Jeju orange juice, which is very uh, much desire. Also their lychee, f lychee soju is, uh, is also another flavor I'm looking forward to trying. And also their premium soju. Premium soju usually has a higher alcohol percentage as opposed to other sojus essentially. So it's like charam soju, it's usually around 20%. But the premium sojus usually run from 24 to 27%, depending on what brand you get. So I'm looking forward to the premium as well, obviously. Uh, most definitely looking forward to watermelon. Uh, like usually these flavor sojus, I would recommend mixing with jello, essentially. Like for example, you could get uh, citrus jello and mix it with the mandarin orange or even lychee. Like you could do strawberry lychee jello shots with the soju, be really good. Even with watermelon, you could do strawberry watermelon, cherry watermelon, cherry lychee. We'll just go out, have fun with it, right? You could do uh, lemon pineapple, and just again, you can have very much fun with uh, doing different soju shots. Um, but anyhow, let's uh, give it a taste here. So first, I will start with the Hellasan. Mandarin soju. So let's check it out here. It is product of Korea from Hellasan Co. Limited. And let's see here how how high the alcohol percentage are. You fresh and fruity. That is good to know. So let's see here. We're scanning. We're looking for the price. Well, not the price. For the alcohol percentage. That is weird. As usually they have it. Ah, here we go. It's 12% alcohol. So let's take a nice little look here. I like how they got their bottles done up here. Very nice. If you ever go to Jeju, I highly recommend trying Jeju oranges. I had a very good time in Jeju Island. I got some of that. Oh man, that's very intense. Very, very intense management smell, which is good. And it should be intense. So let's give this a try here. Gonna put this away here. Hi, kid. Oh, that's good. That's very refreshing. I would most definitely have this in the summertime. The thing that I would do is I would probably mix some orange juice or or something, or 7-Up with this, because that would be a very great combo. Most definitely would do that. It's very, uh, machisayo, oishi des, swad, hafa. It's very, it's very delicious. So next up we have is the lychee flavor. And it's alcohol percentage 2 is also 12. So. Now you can get a nice look at the bottle. Come some of that. And the salt of 
So tell me, have any of you guys been to Jeju? If you have, uh, just comment down below. If you are wondering, yes, the lychee also has intense flavor, and it should have a very intense smell to it. It's very, uh, it's very beautiful, isn't it? Ah, it smells really good. It's a very relaxing thing to enjoy, so. That's so good after a busy work week. I gotta say, I like how clean tasting the lychee is. It's very good. I really enjoyed it. It's very smooth going down. Uh, they're both, well, because it's 12% alcohol, obviously they have lots of sugar in it, but it's very good. Um, I, I do like these two flavors so far. Um, I still say I like the Mandarin Orange. Uh, but anyhow, we're going to move on to Watermelon next. And it too is 12%, so let's take a look here at the bottle. I do like Hellasan's bottle designs, it's quite nice. Hopefully uh, one day I can take you guys to Hellasan uh, Brewery and I can show you guys uh, how they make their soju. I'd be very interested to see that. And if you're interested, you can stop on my Patreon page and donate if you want. Like I'm actually planning to uh, get more Korean baseball jerseys and stuff like that because right now I got a baseball jersey from Taiwan. And then I also have a Japanese baseball team, the Trinichi Dragons um, baseball scarf that uh, someone donated for uh, 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 for me to wear for YouTube, so when I'm on Gutam, I'll probably wear that. But uh, anyhow, the watermelon is not so good so far, so let's give it a taste. <sighs> yeah, that's good. Like for this watermelon one, you know what would be good is if you grab some ice, some fresh watermelon, cut it up, scoop it in, and then add, or add watermelon chunks, and then some watermelon soju and blend it together. I think you'd have like a winner for a nice summer drink. But anyhow, just gonna polish it off. It's very much a side up. Man, that's good. Next up we have is the pineapple. Just look at the bottle here and so far everything I've had is 12% alcohol but of course we're moving into um, the original Hellasan soju and also the premium one so ah that smells so good But like me, I love uh, pineapples from Taiwan and also um, Hawaii. They're so good. Like uh, one of my uh, friends, uh, one of my uh, Taiwan chingu, he gave me a Taiwan pineapple during the pandemic and I made it some drinks using uh, Kimin Kaoling, which is a uh, Taiwanese liqueur. It's around 58% alcohol. Very strong drink though. Um, would I recommend it? Yeah, I'd most definitely recommend giving it a try. But anyhow, with the pineapple drinks, I would most definitely probably use this for, like let's say you buy fresh pineapple chunks and then some ice and add some of this uh, pineapple soju. You probably have a winner of a, of a summer drink as well. So let's give it a taste. Damn, that's good. It's very hafa, very bushy nuts, very mashisaya, very swad. But anyhow, now we're going into the premium sojus. So we got the Hellasan 17. 
made from volcanic water, the treasure of Jeju Island. And it is 17% alcohol, so we gone up in the world here. So here we go. All the sun soju, 17. I'm sorry about the noise in the back. There's nothing I can do about it, but we're going to have to suffer together. It's not the worst thing that could happen. Like the other place I was filming at before, had the trains go by. <laughs> so I, uh, at the place that I was living at before, the sky frame would go by. So it would be a little bit hard for me to film. So recently when I moved to downtown Vancouver, um, so I gotta say it's actually quite nice living here and I gotta say I'm quite happy to be at where I am right now. I'm just working on my film projects and different stuff so you know it's been a busy go and I'm just trying to raise funds for it so I don't have to bother you for Patreon <laughs> donations or anything like that because I don't because because right now everyone's struggling and stuff so I want to take the burden off of you guys and burden off of everyone so we can work together and help out small business and different ones by working together. But anyhow, let's get this taste. It smells delicious so far. I like that. has a very smooth going down. It's um, obviously more stronger than these four here, but it's quite nice. Um, like I could most definitely see making like, maybe you can make yourself a martini with this if you really wanted to, or you could do jello shots. Um, Cause uh, like growing up when I was younger, uh, going up to the Okanagan, my family would make up um, tequila shot, uh, tequila jello shots. So I can most definitely see doing soju jello shots with something like this. Like this is good for playful ones, more playful in terms of flavor, but if you just wanted to stick to like a solid flavor and do like a cherry flavor, I would highly recommend probably using this one. So. We're going to move on now to the final one, the premium soju, the Hellasan 21. I'm looking forward to this. It's quite nice, around one percent. I gotta say, I love their bottle designs here. I want to say John Nim did a like, good job of branding and marketing for this. Let's crack this open and see how it goes. So this one is 21% alcohol. Let's have a little bit of a taste here. Looking at it, isn't it beautiful? Like premium soju, I know it looks like vodka, but it is what it is, right? It is Korean spirits made in Jeju. So anyhow, I highly recommend uh, flying Jeju Air out of uh, Incheon Airport or Flying nearby uh, Busan, maybe to Jeju, just so you're a little bit more closer. But um, Korea is very fun, and I gotta say, I appreciate my friends in Korea, and I thank you all very much for your support. And Samida, and thank you to all, all my chingus and all that. So let's give this a little taste. Hi, team. That is good. That was very swan, very wishy death, very much sayo, very hapa. So far, between these two, I'd say the 21 is the best because it's premium, right? You can't go wrong with premium, right? But I most definitely would recommend the 21 bottle um, just to enjoy by yourself, maybe, or I wouldn't mix it with anything. The, on the other hand, the 17, I wouldn't mix. But because premium soju is better on its own to enjoy, 
You know, the fruity flavored ones are more or less better if you mix with the jello or something like that. You could do a citrus dessert if you want with the, let's see here, probably the mandarin, the pineapple. You could do like pineapple upside down. Sauce maybe, I, I don't know. But you can always create new recipes and new things. Experiment, have fun with food and cooking and enjoying. But of course, always remember to drink responsibly. And also, if you're with your friends, again, make sure your friends get home safe. Because it's always important, right? Because we want to be responsible adults if you're drinking. Like I know I've done, let's see here, six shots of alcohol. But it's more important that you stay safe and your family stays safe. If someone's been drinking too much, let them stay overnight. Get the proper rest and all that. Because we don't want any car accidents or anything bad, right? We want to be responsible if we're consuming alcohol, okay? Anyhow, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Gamsamida, arigato, gozmasu, shishini, and also shukriya. I thank you all for watching. Stay safe. And I'm looking forward to our next program where I'll be covering sugar-free soju, okay? So until next time, thank you and goodbye.